Well, thanks, Fred. There's an old fable which says that animals can talk on Christmas Eve. I remember waiting for my dog Waldo to utter a few words, but I'm sorry to report he never did. Maybe he just had nothing to say. But another concern about animals took New Center 8's Ann Mulligan to the Cleveland Zoo last week. And perhaps it's fitting that she found some sort of animal Christmas getting an early start. You know, Cleveland winters are really awful, and I'm an animal lover, so I got to wondering, how do they take care of the animals at the zoo? Well, these guys have it easy, because they're used to it. But what about the rest of them? Now, a lot of the animals are used to hot and sultry weather, so you can imagine what they think of Cleveland temperatures. And they have such little hair on their bodies that there's no way they can keep warm outside, so a lot of them are in all winter and beefed up with extra food. Some of them even need more attention, like the elephant who needs a regular grease job on his skin to keep it from drying out. I thought they must get pretty bored being inside, but some of the zookeepers do extra fussing and teach the animals tricks. And of course, they get a lot of extra tidbits that make it all worthwhile. So as the saying goes, this weather's not fit for man or beast. And it seems that unless you weigh about 800 pounds and have shaggy white hair all over your body, Cleveland's winter is almost unbearable. This is Ann Mulligan for New Center 8. Hey, Mike. I'm sure the little ones out there want to know whether or not there'll be some snow tonight because Santa can't arrive on his sleigh without snow. I'm not going to tell you. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you. As a matter of fact, we may have some good news for all you good little boys and girls out there and all you older folks, too, if you like a white Christmas. Looks like uh, we may be getting some. We'll tell you that whole thing when we come back.